Hey guys, what is up? Hopefully you're having a great, great day. Today we're gonna see Charlie Kirk, Rex, deluded guy, pro trans student. Okay, I am intrigued. I like seeing Charlie, and I like to comment over these people. This is these students. Uh, anyway, let's just dive right into it and see what happens. What is your opinion on trans, uh, the suicidality rates of trans youth? And what is your opinion on the, the drop that occurs in trans suicidality when they're accepted by their families? Yeah, it goes up after about five or seven years. Um, look, trans people are, are suffering from a serious mental condition, gender dysphoria. Yeah. No, let, let, let them talk. What's, what's no. not true? The mental condition part? It's, it, is an, it is different, but it's not. What is gender dysphoria? It's, the, it is the, like, the, it's like the concern that you feel over the... Dysphoria, but it's like a body dysphoria related to the you, you're uh, not, you're disconnect not. you feel between uh, your mental state and how you feel about your body. Right, so it's a mental issue, right? Yes. Okay, so right, so people that are suffering from, a, from gender dysphoria have a mental condition, and I hope they get help. Yeah, yeah. But sounds good. This is, that's kind of like the same logic with uh, conversion therapy, right? Um, Which, well, what about it? Because you Not think there's something therapy. fundamentally wrong. Well, I do think there's something fundamentally wrong with a 14-year-old girl who thinks they're a, a boy, yes. That's okay. Why? Why? Well, because their chromosomes aren't in alignment with the fantasy in their head. But why? Why is that a problem? What? Well, because your imagination doesn't determine your but, reality. But, uh, yeah. But how does wearing a dress instead of a suit to prom hurting anyone? No, 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 okay, no, no. Just... This, is, this is a different story, man. This is a different story. It's not wearing a dress and something. No, 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 no. The, the thing that you are, that he's talking about, they are against the, 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 the surgical kind of thing. And, 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 even if with the, with the, with the dress and something, uh, if that uh, girl or boy are underaged, they should not be allowed to do any of these kind of sexual kind of act. Uh, because... This is imaginary, and after you you reach your your grown up age, well, you can do whatever you want. And we are uh, talking against the procedures that's gonna happen, you know. So yeah, it's a separate question. No, yeah, that's, that's what gender is, though. Oh, hold on a second. Wh which gender, question do you want me to? Gender, just keep the mic there so we can. Gender talk. and sex are two different things. We we can wrong. No, actually, actually, they're mm -hmm. correlated. They're correlated. And there is no. The, there's okay. there's a it's bimodal. So, so let me ask you a question. No no, you think, no 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 no. Let me so, can someone I, pick no, their I pronouns? I want you to answer my question. Well, which one? What? How does someone wearing a dress affect someone at prom? Can, if you let me finish, which one? I of can the four questions. All right. It's more helpful for you, isn't it? Right to think of gender and sex separately, socially. Like if you're just talking, and you refer to sex as one thing and gender as another, it's more helpful because there's nothing, there's no connection between, no direct connection between a dress and chromosomes, right? So if you were to talk to someone about gender, why is it hurt some, why is it bad to wear a dress when Mike, like, if I was to wear a dress to prom with okay. my boyfriend, then why would that be a bad thing? Got it, okay. Because I have an, a Y chromosome. Okay, so, why is it a bad thing? Okay, I'll go through the list. Well, number one, I don't think I should entertain something that is not true. That's I think that's a bad one. precedent for all of humanity. Yeah. And if you all of a sudden want to appropriate but you can't womanhood, you can't, well, let okay. me finish. Hold on. I'm sorry. You can't prove gender. You can't prove well, the so existence of gender. Let me just talk about that. You can't prove the existence of let, sex. Let, let me say this. You can't empirically measure gender. You are using... Oh, my God. <laughs> thank you. Uh, you're using a definition of gender and sex that is rather a new phenomenon. Gender and sex are directly related. So let me ask you a question. Yeah. Do you believe you could pick your pronouns? Yes. Of course. Do you believe gonna... you could pick your adjectives? Yes. You can so, choose different ad adjectives. So to, I could be, gain different I could be small, I could be strong, I could be rich, I could be smart just by my own imagination? It's a matter of social utility. Okay, so you, what do you think determines reality? You can empirically measure someone's chromosomes, but you can't empirically measure how much of a man or a woman someone is. So what makes something more manly versus more feminine? 
There's uh, no there's testosterone, estrogen, muscle mass, size, that's related to proclivity towards emotional distress. But you can change those. But you can change those. No, I'm sorry. You, you can you, you can you, change you can change levels of testosterone and estrogen or androgen levels. Well, yeah, you could suppress artificially and put things in. You could also you could also remove critical body parts. There's a lot of things you could do that are not right, and they are incredibly crazy. You know, uh, yeah. That, this this kid is very 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 uh, ignorant, and uh, I don't know. He's uh, he's maybe. Uh, He's not straight in the head, you know. Well, he's not straight at all, but he's not good in the head, you know. Because when you when you want uh, to go to to an to an uh, a meetup and to talk with with the, with the person about a, a a subject, you have to get this like everything right in your perspective. But everything he says, it's count. Sorry. It's countered by Charlie, okay? He says, like, okay, it's, uh, well, there's, uh, uh, what is, what is, the, 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 like, uh, uh, sex and, and, and gender is different, but, and they, they don't directly, like, with each other. Well, no, it's not. They are exactly the same thing, you know? Not exactly, exactly, but they are, like, like, almost exactly the same thing. But... He says also like okay, I want to go uh, and and he was talking on a subject, and then he was talking like okay, if I wore a dress, who's gonna who's gonna be hurt? Why why are you gonna be hurt? Well, this is a different kind of subject when you are like you can't just pick points all over the place. You just stick with one point and you work around your one point, and then to when when you want to move to another point, you go. But he was saying okay. Uh, well, we're not against those people that who want to wear whatever they want, but hopefully they they will not be underage. We don't want people under uh, or children underage to do that because we don't want sexually uh, confused underage people in our society. Yeah, you know. So that's what we don't want. But uh, then again, he says like, okay, uh, but what what we are against is. Is those underage people, underage children, with these procedures, it's it's insane. And he says like, okay, well these these things can be modified. Well, hey, yeah, 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 you can be modified, but dude, this is wrong. This is wrong. Like you are clearly that you doesn't ha you don't have a mental 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 kind of problem. So you just your doll diluted diluted and and just like. You want your thing, and you want it whatever way possible. You are gonna, like, literally do the craziest thing. You're gonna modify it. Uh, what do you call it? Yeah, like uh, in in a lab or not in a lab, but like some some medical kind of procedures, just to obtain your diluted thinking, imaginative thinking. Uh, no, no. Anyway, this was the video for today. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Guys, if you did, subscribe, and I'm going to see you in the next one.